Welcome back, guys. Let us talk about what you're expecting October of Fatu series. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, in case you haven't yet as we jump straight into the video of today. Fox of October, Fatu tricks Papi and manipulates him to go with her away from his guns to execute her plan. Fatu points a gun at Papi to escape from the place. Monday's episode, 2nd October. I am firstly jumps into a fight with Papi and the goose when Fatu gets attacked. Let when Papi attacks Ayan Fatu, gets anxious and takes a shocking decision. Tuesday's episode 3rd of October. Ayan comes to Fatu's rescue and beat up Papi and his goose to stop him from marrying Fatu. However, Papi strikes a blow on Ayan's head and makes him unconscious. 4th October, Fatu gets into trouble as she loses her eyesight and grows anxious about herself. I am fused the satin to think about Fatu's way about. Thursday's episode 5th of October, I am get overjoyed when Tanisha informs him of Fatu's way about. Fatu makes a decision to escape from the police station and go away from Ayan's life. 6th October, I am gets shocked when he learns that Fatu escaped from police station. Later, Charam feels um, shattered when the police informs him that Fatu has lost her eyesight. Saturday's episode 7 October, I am promising Savita that he will never jeopardize Jandan's reputation. Meanwhile, Fatu finds herself in a difficult situation in the hospital. 8 October, Charan visits Fatu and learns about shocking events that she has experienced. A priest informs Kanika of a bad omen relating to Tanisha's marriage. 9 October, Fate plays a game when Ayan brings him to the same temple, but he fails to spot her. Fatu decides to pray for Ayan's long life. 10th of October, Ayan is unaware that Fatu has gone blind and questions about her vermilion on her forehead. She fabricates the fact that she is married to someone else. 11th October, Jandanan accuses Rejuala of introducing him to Fatu while others discusses the latter's attitude towards Ayan. Fatu is still emotional about Ayan. 12th October, Tanisha fails to complete a ritual that proves his bond with Ayan in the future. Tanisha Papi, who is such a Fatu, seeks shelter in the same hotel as her. 13th October, Papi informs Siddharth and Fatu. Papi informs Siddharth that Fatu is in Mumbai, so he invents an action plan to apprehend her. Later, Fatu and Ayan go to the same eye hospital. 14th October, Sharon and Pratap comes to their job interview at the office and Fatu get worried where she hears Siddharth's voice as to her Tanisha behavior upset Savita. 15th October, Papi locates Fatu's way about and forces her to marry him. Meanwhile, Ayan gets shocked after learning about Papi's connection with Siddharth. 16th October, Ayan suspects Fatu has a problem after learning about Siddharth's involvement with Papi. Later, he flees. He flees a party and sets out in search of Fatu. 17th October, Fatu decides to hold on to hope and begin training at home for cricket. Some local players notices her and invite her to join them in a tournament. 18th October, Ayan and Fatu part crosses each other again. Tanisha is shocked to see them together. Ayan and Tanisha questions Fatu about her husband, but she refuses to answer. 19th October, Sida follows Fatu to her home and finds out that she still lives with her father and her brother. Ayan tries to find out the truth about Fatu. 20th October, Fatu learns about her doctor that she needs a large amount of money for her eye surgery and still she might not be able to get her vision back. Later, Fatu makes a shocking decision. 21st October, Sida tells Tanisha about Fatu's surgery and plus too easy to find Ayan's true intention. Pratap catches Fatu wearing Sindhu. 22nd October, Siddharth is determined not to assist Papi as he has his own plan against Fatu. 23rd of October, I am provides Tanisha as he I am advised Tanisha as she attempts to get intimate with him. Ajit arrives with gift for Ajit arrives with gift of Ajit arrives with gift for Fatu and makes a marriage proposal. 24th October, Aya notices Fatu and Ajit together and presumes that they are happily married. The residents attack Fatu's apartment and accuses her of ill intent. 25th of October, Aya visits the shop to get a do while Fatu is busy making sweets inside. Tanisha is worried about the delay in Puja. 
26 October, Sida left the Fatu is seeking help from a medical camp and set out to trap to find out the truth about her marriage. However, Fatu gets suspicious about it. 27th October, Tanisha and Sida makes Fatu hip to hypotenize to bring out the truth about the latter's marriage. Ayan grows suspicious after learning about Fatu's ocular surgery. 28th October, Saturday, Sad Tanisha begs Kanika to assist her with the funds for Fatu's treatment and informs her of Aya's reality. Later, Tanisha devises a grand strategy. 29th October, Sida reveals the truth about Fatu and Aya's marriage to Sumitra and shares how he plans to use the truth. Aya tries to be a good husband to Tanisha. Monday's episode 30 October, Kanika and Janadan decide to relieve Ayan of most of his business responsibility and they give them to Siddharth. Fatu is united with her mother. 31st October, Tanisha accuses Siddharth of conspiring to tell the truth to Ayan, but the latter manages to convince her otherwise Ayan tries to find out about Fatu's donor. And if you guys understand what is going on here is that Fatu and Ayan are married but they are not aware. But Ayan is not aware that he is married to Fatu. And I don't really get all this whole story. How will you get married to somebody and you are not aware that you married the person? Anyways, guys, the stuff here, and according to what they said, is that um, both of them got married um, in unusual circumstances. And Ayan was knocked unconscious by the papi guy. And now um, Fatu is like blind. Uh, she has lost her sight. Or let us say she's still undergoing treatment. And um, they are still looking for her husband. Now, um, when she got married to uh, Ayan, she made sure she's not in contact with Ayan again. Let us say she ran away. Now, the Ayan and Fatu's um, road crosses again. They found each other. And now they are seeing her. We are in Vermilion. For Ayan, you guys, she's still acknowledging that Ayan is a husband. But she doesn't want to tell even Ayan or anybody that, you know, we are married. Now, Ayan and everybody are asking her, who got married to you? You can imagine how it feels for the girl when the husband is asking, who got married to you? Who are you putting familiar for? And she herself is hiding. She doesn't want to say the truth. Probably she's afraid. And then the Tanisha and Ayan also have gotten married because Ayan doesn't know that. You know, he has a first wife elsewhere. And now Tanisha is second wife if the truth eventually comes out because now the truth have not really come out. And now Tanisha is second wife who is taking place of first wife and when the truth comes out via indian tradition they don't accept two wives that means tanisha who thought that she is the you know real wife will have to step down for fatu who is the original wife that i am got married to first so this is kind of disastrous kind of disastrous and now and now even the that is working against ayan and also is trying to really 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 do stuff against Fatu as well. So the drama is still just all over the place for now. But I feel from November episode or so when Ayan knows that okay, I shall go married to this girl. Probably they'll start their love story. But for now, what do you guys think? Do let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time and bye guys.